Hello and welcome everyone to Peninsula Clean Energy's board training on distributed energy resource programs. My name is Peter Levitt and I am our associate manager of DER strategy and I'm going to be walking you through the training here. Distributed energy resources or DERs are renewable energy and energy storage resources that are located in Peninsula Clean Energy's service territory, often directly at customer locations. Our primary goal with DERs is to spur 20 megawatts of new local DERs within our service territory. Our associated ob our objectives are to foster energy resilience or backup power at our customer locations, to support aligning renewable energy supply with customer demand, to deliver customer value such as through lowering energy costs, and to foster the scaling of solutions such as driving innovative pilots or developing DER policies. Here you can see our programs budget and list of programs on the right and left respectively. The programs budget for uh, DER items it, uh, falls under the resilience category here uh, of, for which we've budgeted $10 million over three years. And the resilience programs are listed on the left side here. Uh, note that the commercial storage program is still under development, but we have launched uh, programs for the residential and municipal sectors. Here is a snapshot of the programs that we have launched and have designed to date. We've launched the Power on Peninsula Medical Program, Power on Peninsula Residential, and a program for our local governments to adopt solar and storage. Power on Peninsula Medical is designed to provide backup power to customers that have a medical need. Power on Peninsula Residential incentivizes solar and storage de development at residential customers through a partnership with Sunrun. And our local government solar and storage program, uh, we are developing a new approach there to procure solar and storage at those facilities. Here are our draft distributed energy resource priorities. These programs are ones that we plan to launch by 2025. And you can see on the left, the name of the program in the middle column, what level of priority it is for our organization. And on the right, the uh, estimated solar and storage deployments. So the public facilities resilience program will be geared towards local governments to help them adopt solar and storage to that have a backup power element. The local government and commercial PV program will be designed to motivate our munis and private sector to get solar specifically. We will also procure front of meter large scale generation and storage, solar and storage that is. And lastly, for our high priority programs, we will be motivating residential customers to get solar and storage um, in a, a, a continued from what we are doing currently. In total, we plan on uh, having all of these programs amount to about 26 to 54 megawatts of new power deployments by 2025. Now I'm going to be jumping into each of the individual programs, uh, starting with Power on Peninsula. We designed the Power on Peninsula Medical Program to provide portable solar and storage donations to medically vulnerable customers who are at risk of experiencing a power outage event like a public safety power shutoff. We first identified the medical needs of our customers, as well as the capabilities of different backup power devices. We facilitated a procurement of those backup power devices, as well as an uh, uh, contracted with an organization to do the delivery and training of those devices to our customers. And lastly, we coordinated with numerous nonprofit agencies to facilitate the delivery uh, to different customers, the identification of different customers, um, and communications to different customers as well. The budget for this program was $750,000. We launched it last summer in 2020, and it concluded in this summer of 2021 uh, under budget and on time. Here are the outcomes of the Power on Peninsula medical program. We deployed 150 portable battery devices and 100 portable solar panels. This results in 450 kilowatt hours of deployed battery capacity and 20 kilowatts of portable solar capacity. In addition, the, in, we drove new innovation 
by uh, developing a new approach to collaborating with local nonprofits, allowing us to reach a very high percentage uh, of our medical, medically vulnerable customers. Now we're going to jump into the Power on Peninsula Residential or Homeowner Program. Here's a summary of the Power on Peninsula Residential Program. This is predominantly a co-marketing program for single family and multifamily customers who are interested in getting solar plus storage. We use the storage to reduce Peninsula Clean Energy's resource adequacy costs. As a reminder, resource adequacy is a product that Peninsula Clean Energy needs to purchase in order to ensure that there is a reliable amount of power on the grid. The, the way of reducing our resource adequacy costs is an innovative approach and is called load modification, which adds to the stack of values delivered by distributed storage. We are layering up to $1,250 of incentives onto state and federal incentives that are available to customers who are participating in the program. We're enrolling both existing and new customers with both traditional outreach and co-marketing. We've budgeted up to $5.4 million for load modification payments uh, over the duration of the program, as well as $230,000 for program administration. The timeline of this program, uh, it began in, in last summer in July of 2020, and the enrolling new customers runs throughout the end of 2022. And we will be paying for the load modification a beginning in January 2022 for 10 years through the end of uh, 2031. The outcomes uh, expected for, for this program include up to one megawatt of load modification assets deployed uh, at beginning in 2022 and up to 1.5 megawatts deployed by 2023. All systems delivered will have backup power or islanding capabilities. In addition, there is a 10% carve out for low income customer participation. Uh, most importantly, the, innovative, the innovation around this program is very important. It's a first of its kind uh, method of adding value to distributed energy storage, which will help local storage compete with utility scale storage and natural methane gas. The last program we're going to highlight today is our local government solar plus storage program. The summary of this program is that we are developing a scalable model for reducing costs and complexities of deploying solar and storage DERs at city and county facilities. We are taking a new approach to uh, procurement where we are the provider of DERs directly to our customers, um, where our customers can sign up with P Peninsula Clean Energy for solar and storage through a PPA. We are evaluating 17 city and county facilities for solar and for solar and storage. And we are also planning to conduct a joint procurement uh, for the purchase of those solar and storage assets for these sites. We will take the best practices learned from this program and expand the pilot if it, it is successful. We've budgeted up to $267,000 for site evaluations. And we will also run a procurement, but we haven't established the budget for that yet. Um, and the timeline is uh, that we are, uh, we, we've completed site visits for this program already. Uh, we've also completed designs and we are currently in the due diligence stage uh, of the program. Here are the expected outcomes of the local government solar plus storage program. We expect two megawatts of rooftop and carport solar to be installed through this program. We also have the potential of adding four megawatts of additional carport and ground mount solar, provided that we have the land allocated by uh, the county facilities. We also expect that a 200 kilo, approximately a 200 kilowatt, 750 kilowatt hour battery will be installed uh, as a pairing to some of the solar installations. Lastly, uh, the innovations delivered through this program include Peninsula Clean Energy offering pre-development uh, early site evaluation support, uh, as well as the PPA to customers uh, to deliver lower costs and reduce complexity for the customer 
uh, and provide a sustainable business model for solar plus storage procurement. We believe that aggregating the procurement of multiple facilities together will allow us to lower costs for those uh, solar plus storage facilities in the end. Thank you for listening to the Distributed Energy Resources uh, Strategy and Programs uh, training. Thank you for your time.